Well, it's just a, it's a privilege to be here. Uh, just so honored to have an opportunity to get our program uh, into the postseason. It's been a while and uh, just really excited to be in such a fantastic facility as what Mississippi State has and the host that they are. Uh, they've been a tremendous traditional program and uh, just very fortunate to be in with the, the other three teams uh, in this regional. All right. If you please wait till the mic gets to you and please state your name and affiliation. Greg Robbie Falk from Starkville Daily News. Just just talk about uh, ending that drought and getting a chance to compete again and what that means to you and for that program. Well, you know, when I, when I took over it two years ago, uh, I knew how much Coach Patterson, um, the legendary coach that was there and really brought that program to the, to the national level and, and had so many wonderful years. The, the tradition and history of the program, I knew when I, when I went on campus that I felt like that energy and passion was still there. And I just felt like if we could just get some wins under us and, and do some things, and that's just been tremendous. Uh, one of the most proudest things I've done as a coach is, is be a part of that and, and just to see the fan base grow this year and the number of people that came to watch us play. It just continued to grow as our players continue to win. And, just an awesome honor uh, and privilege. We've been very blessed, and I just feel so fortunate to have this group of guys, our first recruiting class, to really kind of get us over that hump. We'll go down front, Ben. Hey, Coach, Ben Wake, Commercial Dispatch. Hey, uh, you talked about Lunsford, I think, a little bit on Monday. What makes him so good, and why has he been so successful this year for you all? Well, he's so good because he, uh, he don't think very much. <laughs> he's one of those hitters, you know. Uh, it's, uh, it's, all, it's, it's amazing what he's really done, especially the last part of the year. He's really carried us. Um, just you know, We moved into the four hole. Maybe it, it took me a while to figure out where he needed to be. But he uh, has really settled in as a hitter and has been a tremendous threat for us in the four hole. We've got a lot of RBIs and things. But just uh, for him, I think he's, he's a really confident kid. And he's really had some, some, uh, some breaks go his way. But when, when he steps in the box, you can tell our team and uh, everybody there is just kind of waiting for something to happen. He's just been that, that electric, and he has. He's come up every time. You know, you look at when we're playing Rice, uh, DePlantier hadn't given up a home run all year. Lunsford hits his first home run off of him, and next thing you know, we got nine runs on him. So, I mean, he's really our, been our go-to guy and just really proud of Chase and what he's done coming from Hines Junior College and then transferring in and really been a really big-time player for us. We'll go to the back. Uh, Coach, obviously, you know, we're not in Ruston anymore. We're not even in Hattiesburg anymore. I mean, has that set in for you guys yet? Has that kind of I – mean, have you guys realized that this is a bigger stage and is there more pressure on you guys? Well, I don't think so. You know, Chris, we have uh, – you know, our guys, I think if you watch them, you've been around us enough. They don't care where we are. Uh, our guys – I was telling Steve back here earlier, I don't know if we're smart enough to realize how, how big a stage this really is, which is great. Uh, our guys are awesome, and they're very humble kids, but very hungry. And um, I don't think uh, where we are really bothers to them. They just want to play baseball. They want to continue to try to uh, live out this dream season that we've had so far. And uh, they're, just, they're just an awesome group. I can't wait to let them. I'm, right, I'm ready to unleash them and let them go on Friday night. Go back down here to the front, Ben. With the way y'all finish the season, with the way y'all are swinging the bats right now, just how much confidence is around this team right now? Well, I was pretty confident until I saw Fullerton's ERA. <laughs> Number one in the country or whatever. So, you know, uh, they say good pitching stops, good hitting. But, uh, you know, we've been real hot, and uh, we face some really good arms. But uh, we're going to have to have a really good approach on these guys from Fullerton. They are tremendous, tremendous staff. They've got a lot of depth, a lot of different options if you see their staff and their numbers. So, uh, you know, we're going to have to, you know, the, the field here is a lot bigger than it was down in Hattiesburg. And, and so we're going to have to get back to being hardened on top and try to use the gaps more because if we try to lift in this ballpark, it'll be a long day for us. So we're going to have to really work hard on trying to be more of a line drive mentality and still trying to lift the ball like we did last week. Front left, Logan. Logan Lowry, Daily Journal. Uh, having Jake on your staff, how much does it help just getting a scouting report on this ballpark, how it plays and everything, and how much does he help giving maybe a preliminary scouting report on Mississippi State? Well, you know, when I got the job at Louisiana Tech, um, he was the first guy I wanted to hire. Uh, played for me and just a tremendous coach, a lot of energy. Uh, and you see what our offense is doing today because of him. But I think it's because of the experience he had working for Coach Cohen and, and being over here. And I think he really grew a lot in those two years here in Starkville. And when I got him, he was so much better when, I, when he played for me and just really grew as a coach. Uh, but he gives us a lot of confidence, to be honest with you. Um, our guys know that he's been here and, and kind of been in this setting. You know, he was here when they went to Omaha. So that really 
gives our especially our hitters a lot of confidence and uh, he's been able to help us you know make that transition of coming in here and knowing what to expect so he's been a, a vital part of, of what we've been doing so far and getting our guys ready to go go to the back again coach not knowing if you guys are facing a lefty or a righty or whoever tomorrow coach do you, is it kind of where you guys are you guys kind of just have to have you guys seen a lot of video on, on the whole pitching staff I mean, how do you guys approach tomorrow? Well, we, we don't know who they're going to throw yet. Uh, they have a lot of different options, right or left. So we'll just have to, you know, whenever we make that decision, hopefully we'll find out today or tonight sometime, and then we can work on it. But we've, we've been watching them and trying to prepare for them. But, you know, you have to do, you only do so much. Uh, their arms are really, really good, and uh, our hitters are going to have to be on the top of their game if we're going to have the chance to score any runs off of them. Go back down the front right, Ben. Have you decided on a starting pitcher yet? We're going to start um, Philip Deal. We just made that decision today. So we're going to start and deal um, the lefty and, and go with him and then throw Casey Sutton on game two. Any other questions? Hey, Greg, Mike Bonner from the Clarion Ledger. Hey, just Mike. as you kind of mentioned, being getting to this level is your first recruiting class. How, how much sweeter is that, that it, it's with this group rather than maybe another group? Well, you know, that, that's the thing. You know, I got so emotional this weekend, and, and as, even as we got done practicing on our field for the last time, uh, I just can't say enough about what these guys have done uh, for our program, for our university, for me as a coach. Uh, these guys have taken this program to a different level. I never even imagined they could after, year, after basically year one and year two. And uh, I'm just forever grateful for what they've done. And, and not that they're good players and what they've done, but they're great kids. They are, you'll see them, they, you watch them play, they're relentless, they don't quit, uh, they play hard, they run out things, and uh, they're just a, they've just been a joy for me, and uh, just really appreciate what they've done. They, they have changed my life forever. All right, we're going to go back to the back. Coach, before you guys were ultimately selected, you know, you guys didn't know, I mean, nothing was guaranteed to begin with. You know, was there ever that thought in the back of your mind that, hey, we could be sitting at home next week oh there's no doubt especially as that show went along uh about that 25 minute mark they took that commercial break and we had not got into lsu or tcu's regional my wife just threw my hands down i was sweating so bad i was so nervous you know and i'd experienced that a couple years ago when we didn't get in and watching our players you know have their phones up and waiting for louisiana tech to go up on there i was so you know, as we got along with this thing, I was getting very nervous. I just didn't want them to experience what we had did a couple of years ago at Campbell. And uh, what a jubilation and, and relief when I saw that. I don't even want to <laughs> – it's tough. It's very emotional. Uh, just because I know what much these kids have worked and what they put into it. And to see the NCAA give us an opportunity and, and respect what we did um, this year for the 56 games and then the tournament, uh, we're just grateful to be here.